Hey, Patty. Hi, Carmen. Hey, Stacy. Why is Stacy not showing up on my other uh, chat? Oh, there you guys are. It's a little delay. Hi, Chow. Hi, Beverly. Hi, Susan. Hey, Carol. Hey, Roxanne. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, Melissa. Hi, Michelle. Hey, Tanya. Hey, Gloria. I need a bag down here. Here, take this too. Lay up. I'm, I'm live right now. Come down. I'm live right now. Thank you. Thank you for being a good boy. Thank you. Yep. The kids are doing garbage. What is Hi, Bonnie. Hi, Candace. Hi, Jody. Hey, Jennifer. Hey, Kiki. Oh, Kiki, birthday in two days. Here. No, no, no. Don't put that. Why would you do that? Because why not? You, that's an empty bag that can be reused. Don't throw it out. Here. Empty. Yes, it was. Here, use this. Hi, Patty. I know, Patty. Mine are too. It sucks. Oh, let's cut a piece of this. Oh, that's going to be nice. I'm going to surprise you with this. Uh, I can't really say I'm surprised, though, because let's be honest. That store was like the junk store. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we got some good deals on craft supplies and stuff, but that store was the junk store. <laughs> Hope everybody had a good day. I did. I caught a fish. Just got done eating it for dinner. Leah cleaned her plate. It was good. Good, good fishing. Patty, that was like the only good thing was like the, the cheapy minks if you could get one. Yeah. That's why I got one, Patty, but mine is like, the new one is like burning and smoking. It's, it's a little scary. <laughs> I'm going to cut this die out and show it to you guys. Hold, please. Thank you. Make sure you don't forget all the bags upstairs too, okay? And then you guys can have ice cream. Oh, Kiki got a special birthday card from Leah. It had foil on it, of course. Who's not going to love that? All right, so a week ago, 10 days ago, it was like 10 days ago, all to new, just leave it, I'll get to it. All to new had a sale on these uh, watercolor markers, which I'm going to show you guys. So I got those, but I also picked up this Mega Thanks dies. And yeah, they are correct in calling it Mega Thanks. So I'm going to show you. This is an A2 size card. Put some double-sided Elizabeth Crafts Designs uh, tape on the back of it before I cut it out. Yeah, I'm just your, um, what's it, what's it called when you go to a show and I'm just the first act? 
I'm just the first act until Tracy can um, get done with her nephew's graduation. The opening act. What am I? She's the main event. I'm just here to keep you guys entertained until she gets here. Warm up act. Yes. Opening act. That's me. Okay. Oh, you guys, this is pretty. Okay, here it is. Oh, it like barely fits. Oops, I stretched it. I cut it out of some copper paper. And then, like I said, I put that double-sided adhesive on the back. So now it's sticky. But look at that. Just fills the whole front of an A2 size card perfectly. I thought it was going to be too big and I was going to have to go to a 5x7 card. Isn't it pretty? Oh, now i got to make some kind of cool background for it to go on. Ooh, so that's the Mega Thanks die. I will link that for you with my affiliate link. And it's very easy to cut. Very big die. Um, they do have a discount right now until July. 10% off your next order. Code Summer Fun July. So I will link the all to new link. You can also find it in the files of the FSC group. A little color guide thing. All right. <laughs> Gloria said, you can say opening cart since we have to do some shopping by this time. This end. You don't have to buy anything, Gloria. I'm just letting you know what I bought. Just, you know, you know I'm just saying. <laughs> All right, so I announced that Altenew had these. Yeah, I have an uh, Altenew affiliate link. Sure do. Um, okay, so I, pre I already owned these Jane Davenport watercolor markers. Um, I use them with my Zigs and my new Kareen markers because they're just, they're basically brush pens. Um, they have really long barrels, really concentrated colors. You can use them for water coloring, but um, you get 12 colors, and these are the colors here. I kind of swatched out. Hopefully, you can see them here. So, lobster. These colors are very, um, I don't know how to explain it. Not not as bright and vibrant. Um, they're, they're toned down a little bit. So she, of course, um, Jane Davenport's mermaid markers have names from Australia because um, that's where she's come from and their mermaid marker. So lobster is kind of like this dark red. Beach is a flesh color. Um, so it's kind of like peach, but it's more like a flesh color. Pirate's gold is a golden yellow. Seaweed is a lighter green. Siren is like a turquoise green. Um, Byron Bay is a turquoise blue. Blue bottle is like a medium blue. I would say like a jean blue. And see, look at the sticker. Doesn't that look like it would be like a turquoise blue? But it's really not. It's this medium blue. Jellyfish is kind of like a muted lilac. Deep sea is a really dark purple. Coral is coral. Starfish is, of course, my favorite color because it is fuchsia. And then Reef is a dark brown. But the colors are very muted. They're not like super vi uh, vibrant um, colors. There's a couple that really pop, like the seaweed and the starfish. Um, but mostly they're muted colors. So when I saw that Altenew, um, yes, very muted. Altenew had the similar uh, markers. Why is this not focusing? Focus. There we go. Um, um, I bought them. And I have, here's another water pen. This is the Arteza water pen, which I've been really liking. I've been using this. But it's the same shape, size as these markers. So I just wanted to point that out to you guys. When these empty, you can always reuse them. Plus, if you have any of the shimmer markers, you just put the clear shimmer 
over top and these become shimmer markers then. So here are the Altenew ones. Now, two differences right off the bat is that Altenew only gives you 10 markers where um, Jane Davenport gave you 12 markers. Um, they're both around the same price range, around $40. The Altenew ones were on sale for $20 for two days. Um, I tried to give you guys a little heads up about that. The Jane Davenport ones I have seen at Michael's and you can use your coupon if you can find them in stock. A lot of times they're sold out out of stock. But I was afraid they were gonna be double colors and then I would have to um, give these to someone but they are not double colors. These are much more vibrant. So here's Crimson which is a really bright red. Sun Kiss, which is a bright orange. Fresh Lemon is very similar to Pirate's Gold. So right here, I put the colors that I thought would be similar next to each other. So here you can see, oh, that's great. Spellbinders had the Jane Davenport ones on sale for 25. That's cool. Um, so here is Pirate's Gold and down here is Fresh Lemon. So you can see Fresh Lemon is slightly darker than Pirate's Gold. So they're not exactly the same. Lime, so up here is Seaweed and down here is Lime. So again, you can see that the Lime is much more, um, is, is brighter. Um, here is Byron Bay and Turquoise. Here's Sweet Leaf, which is a, like a more normal green. Um, turquoise. So here, again, is Byron Bay and Turquoise. So you can see Byron Bay is much darker than Turquoise. Uh, Desert Night, which is a deep, dark navy. Purple Wine, which is a purple. Paper Bag, which is your brown, like a chocolate brown. And then Lava Rock, which is gray. And then here I have Starfish and Purple Wine. So you can see Starfish is more pink fuchsia. And Purple Wine is leaning more towards purple. So the colors I thought would be duplicate are actually not. They are a slight difference. So I just wanted to show you guys that if you have uh, one set or the other, um, I do think that the Altenew ones are more, uh, are brighter in terms of color. Um, and I think they're better in terms of being water activated. But since we're waiting for Tracy, let me check my text messages here. I ate your birth. I sure did eat your birthday present. It was delicious. Um, I fried it up with some butter and seasonings, and then we had some noodles and some cauliflower with it, and that child ate the whole thing. It was so good. All right, so this, I'm using this Altenew um, book. This is, um, it's like a mixed media book, but I do all of my swatching out on here. So then I can see what the colors actually look like, but it has a smooth and a textured. I'm gonna stamp something on this smooth side, and let's see if we can water color something. I don't know if I have any like real big jumbo flowers. Hold on. That's a big flower. This is a Stampendous Jumbo Lily. I don't know if they still make this or not. I've had this one in my collection for quite a while. I actually cut the stem off of it. Let me get my Jumbo Stamper. You're not late, Debbie. Stamp with some Versafine Claire because it's waterproof. Hopefully, I get a good enough impression to watercolor with it. My lilies in the yard just opened up. They're all bright orange, but um, the pink ones are my favorite.
Hello, Bernie. Uh, Susan, I haven't, I just got the Ulta new ones today, so I haven't really compared them to the Kareen, but I will say the Kareens are very nice. I don't know if they still make this one. He's super old. Stupendous Jumbo. Jumbo Mumbo. 2011 is the date on it. Ah, it came out good. Oh, a couple reminders. If you did not mail out your FSC... Um, June birthday swaps, you got to get that done. Um, the July uh, sign-up list will start the first week of July. It'll be some kind of funny, humorous, snarky um, card. We'll make a new sign-up, a new, um, new sign-up, new list starting the beginning of July. I'd just like everybody to get their May card, or I mean June cards before we do a new sign-up. Um... New kitchen sink stamps release goes live on Monday. I'm so excited. Maybe I'll give you guys a sneak peek at the end of this. Just remind me. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Uh, I forget. I'm sure I'll think of more stuff as we go. Uh, getting closer to the surprise in Australia. Super excited about that for you guys too. And other stuff. I think I want to do this one and let me see. Maybe some fresh lemon and sun kissed. But I really want to do the pink. Eh, I'm going with the pink. Oh yeah, the Marabou inks are on sale at Joggles. 50% off the new colors, and if you purchase the graphics paper, they have black paper, which is like black Yupo paper, um, then your total will be over $50, and you will get 50% off of shipping. So, um, pretty good deal there. I think you get 14 inks, right, Chow? I think it's 14 inks. Um, so, I'm excited about that. So, Chow posted that in the group. What else is there? Where'd my uh, ink marker go? It's not this one. Is it this one? What is this one? Oh, it's called Purple Wine. That's a terrible name for this color because it is not like wine. I got to figure out where to store these. All right, I'm going to start with a little bit of water from my Arteza water pen. So it just has clean water in it. And I have a little paper towel off to the side here. So I'm just going to kind of wet the area here. And then I'll go in with the Altenew Purple Wine. <laughs> Candice, you're funny. That paper just soaks that right up. Might be too dry. Might need to wet it more. Whoops, gonna drip. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to put some more water on here. Just suck the water right up. Susie, we'll find something for you. I posted the toilet stamp if you guys want to go that route. <laughs> I figure with all the toilet paper cards everybody's been making, a toilet card would be okay. But it doesn't have to be snarky. It can just be something funny. You, you could do like a, um, I have a birthday sentiment that says um, 40 is the new F word or 50 is the new F word. There are creative vision stamps. This 
paper just soaks up the water so it doesn't have time to bleed, react, travel. Just goes right in the sucking it up. It's not like their watercolor paper, their water expert watercolor paper is like, I love that watercolor paper. Because it gives you time to react. This just dries right up. But you can see once you add water to the colors, they do reactivate and move pretty easily. That's not bad. <laughs> Charlotte, see, it's something you need to explore. I will say you guys did a great job this time with the swap. I know the first one was a little difficult with us organizing it and figuring out what to use, what to do, when's it got to be sent, who's in my group, and this time... We had a lot less of that. We definitely had more organization this time. I think that we got the lists emailed a lot faster this time. Um, and you guys posting in the group, showing us the cards that you got. Very, very beautiful cards. Um, what else? Don't forget tonight at 10 p.m. There will be a new video posted on my YouTube page for kitchen sink. Um, yeah, for blue night rubber stamps, not kitchen sink stamps for blue night rubber stamps. That's part of the new 2020 release. So that'll give you something to watch either tonight or tomorrow. Uh, next week is the new release from kitchen sink stamps. And I can't wait for you guys to see it. And there's going to be a giveaway and there's going to be a special promotion just for FSC members. So if you are not part of the Foiling Snobs Club on Facebook, you want to head on over and join. Don't forget when you join, you must answer all the questions. You have to scroll down, answer the questions, agree to the rules, or you will not be accepted into the group. I know that sounds silly because, you know, we're like a crafting group, but um, can't read the directions, then uh, might have issues with stuff that goes on in the group, like card swaps and stuff like that. Plus, I want to keep bots and people that don't belong in the group in there, non-crafty people. Thank you, Stacy. Oh, the, the Catherine Pooler inks are on order for um, Not Too Shabby Shop. You guys, they are amazing, beautiful inks. I will admit, Stacy was right. They are wonderfully pigmented colors. They're super bright. They stamp easily. They are, I like the little mini size. I don't think I'll go to full size. I like the little mini sizes. Um but she has them coming back in stock, I believe, next week. So for those of you that have been waiting, thank you for that. Yes, super juicy inks, correct. Hi, Catherine. Um, I have a company sending me some toner foils. Um, I think they're what we've been looking for, but I won't know until they get here. So hopefully sometime next week on that. Um, what else? Don't forget next, this weekend is Father's Day weekend. Uh, Kiki, we should go for a drive. Uh, my daughter is going to go spend time with her dad. 
her sisters and her dad at the shore. So I'll be without my Lily this weekend. Crazy lamp lady. Who's crazy lamp lady? I store my Marabou inks. Well, I have one, but <laughs> in with the Tim Holtz, I just lay them down. And I forget who was looking for the Gemini butterfly die, the one that's a cut and foil die, but um, I found it on Amazon. I put that in the FSC group. I love the Spectrum Pots. I think there is only 11 sets, Stacey. I think I have them all, too. I hope everybody who won their prizes got their boxes from me. No offense, but I'll be happy not to go to the post office for a little while. <laughs> uh, Liz, yes, if you go into our Foiling Snobs Club Facebook group, there's a files page. By the way, you guys are doing an awesome job with filling that up with SVGs and PDFs to print off for foiling, so make sure you check that out. Um, there is a folder that says Nancy's Affiliate Links and Tracy's Affiliate Links. So you guys can click on that, check that out. If I have a coupon code, I'll um, try to put the coupon code in there for you guys. Right now for our Teza, it's extra 15. I forgot to update that. But if you're looking for anything from our Teza, it's extra 15 is the code. I know this isn't like super exciting, but it's pretty. I think this works better on better wall um, watercolor paper. This is more like a mixed media book, not really like watercolor paper, but it's working. It's not great, but it's working. Okay, I got to switch you guys over. Time for you to head on over to Tracy's channel. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Go see Tracy. Do you guys have a link for Tracy? It's Tracy Schultz. Let me link it. So if you don't have a link, you can just click the link. Hold on. She was supposed to text me. <laughs> Let me get you guys the link. Hold on. Although you guys should have it. How's that for timing? Where's chat? Oh, I lost the chat. Here we go. Paste. All right. Head on over to Tracy's channel.
Yep, I'll see you guys over there. I just want to make sure everybody heads over. I see 52 people hanging out. Head on over to Tracy's. Maybe somebody went to the bathroom. Oh, it's okay, Karen. We're going to go watch Tracy's channel now. She's got some news for us. So I just wanted to let everybody know. I'm going to be logging out here so we can all go watch Tracy together. So if you've never watched Tracy, she's a great card maker. She's my friend. She is the co-founder of the FSC Facebook group. And you should go check her out. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. All right, I'm logging off now. I'll see you guys over there. Bye.